I'm going to tell you a story. I just saw a, a bus. I, I just passed a bus there. And, um, when I was um, in the, my 20s, um, I, uh, I didn't know what to do, actually. I was in the university, but uh, I kind of skipped one year and uh, meanwhile I decided I need to make some money, you know, Not, and they didn't give me work because I didn't have any experience and I was like 22 years old, something like that, and um, I got a cousin that uh, Jesus, did you see that? I thought the poor dog will well anyway uh, stupid owner because it must be his dog okay damn man hey that I don't take care of their pets well, um, uh, I got a cousin and he told me, hey, listen, why don't you give me a hand? I'm going to pay you. And uh, I'm going to go to the States. I'm going to buy a bus. Well, actually, we're going to buy three buses and you drive one down here. So I never have driven a bus. And he told me, oh, have you driven a, a truck? Yeah, it's just the same. Right? So and I'm going to give you or going to give you a chance to um, drive the bus and hook up uh, whatever you want behind it so you're going to get paid and then you're going to haul a uh, car that you buy for for you and do business and say yeah, yeah let's go so we went and um, actually I do not remember where it was that he bought those buses, but I do remember it was up in the middle. I think it was up. I don't know what the state name was. The one is just beside, north of Arkansas. I don't, or yeah, something like. That. But it was up kind of north, and it was in January, and it was really cold. But the story goes on, and uh, uh, so we have to bring those buses down uh, to Houston, where uh, we're going to buy the cars to hook them behind the buses and haul it down here. So. Well, I got there, jumped into the bus, and it was a flat nose bus. And uh, the first thing I remember is just what the hell. I'm I'm running on the front tire here, on the left front tire. And <laughs> you feel very weird. Uh, uh, okay, let, let me let me drive this around here so I can get kill a custom right. So uh, I got into that thing and start drive driving down. Fortunately, it was an automatic. But so I has I have not to worry about the, the changing gears. And really I learned in ten minutes that I have to drive on the line to be in the middle of it. Or appear to be driving on the line, the yellow line, to be in the middle of the road. Uh, it took us uh, like one day and a half to get to Houston 
and uh, well we got there and I bought a uh, I think it was a Jeep some a Jeep yeah a Wrangler or something like that and I bought the the hauling thing you know like the big shape thing that you hook up I install it put the chains on it I bought some other stuff and put it in the bus <coughs> Sorry. so we started <coughs> driving down to the border into Mexico and to get from the state to Mexico you lose in, in the border you lose like one day you have to buy insurance you have to oh man you have to do a lot of things all right I mean bureaucratic shit all right so we pass uh, Mexico driving the roads there are some highways but mostly are roads you know normal roads was like the second day in Mexico and I check out the left mirror and I saw a car just behind me trying to pass me but really really close to me and I said oh man what's wrong with this guy you know why don't he pass me so I slowed down and he keep like going like this you know trying to he kind of sneak out of the back of the bus and then trying to pass me when I realized that that wasn't the fact it was a jeep trying to pass me <laughs> it, the thing got on hook or I think the, a ball broken or something like that I don't remember but the only thing it was <laughs> it was towing was with the change and he was trying to pass me so when I realized that I started slowing down a little bit by little bit because I didn't want to trash the thing you know so I came to a stop and well I found a welder they weld the thing again and uh, that was funny man and it's scary So I got paid for bringing the bus and I sold that thing and I won some money. I went back <laughs> a couple of months, like two months again. And then I brought another thing. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. But, you know, when you want to do something and you you will do almost anything to earn some money and live. Yeah.